Hi, Diamond Painting friends. It's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. In today's video, I have an unboxing. I have four diamond paintings here that I bought from Francesca's Studio Works, but I'm only going to open one because of the problems I've been having with my um, memory and storage and all that on my phone. So otherwise, I would love to go have them all open in one video because I think that would be fun. So what I'm going to do is just move some of these over and um, I should have moved my diamond painting over there. So I, I bought two smaller ones and I have two larger ones. So we're just going to move these ones out of the way. And I did want to show you how it came. So I ordered four and so it came in this box. There's two in each, so it has like this outer box, which is really nice with um, Francesca's Studio Works. Um, too bad it didn't say diamond painting on here somewhere, so that way, you know, as it's moving along in the um, through people handling it and stuff, maybe they would know that it's diamond painting and want to go and buy one. But so let's see which one I picked. Let's see. Okay, this is going to be a pretty one. So this one says Sunflower Sunset by Peggy Davis. This is going to be a 70-ish by 55-ish centimeters. And that is 27.7 inches. I'm sorry, 27-ish by 21-ish inches. And then it has, this is a round and it has this beautiful box. Right here it has our logo. Thank you. Visit our website. And then, you know, warning choking hazard and all. And then look what it has right here, how pretty that is. So let me go ahead. Let's see which side is. Okay, so let me go ahead and just grab my scissors here and I'm just going to cut some of this plastic off because I'm not going to take all the plastic off. I kind of keep some of it um, to protect the box. So just excuse my ugly table here. It's actually clean. It's just stained and old. So I should have did this, but I was just going to pick one without knowing which one I'm picking to show you all. So let me just, since if I was on my using in my bedroom today I would just have this on the bed but with the table it's too close up but I think I almost have it so okay so I think I got it I'm trying to open it nice and neat so I don't throw out that plastic like so I think I did it okay so let me open the box I'm trying not to bump the table either okay I've been excited to get these I they I received these gosh a few days ago or longer actually um, they came actually pretty quick um, I just haven't had time to do any of the filming okay I'm gonna zoom you in let's see like that so here's the bag I love this bag because so there's other bags that um, they kind of break right here, like on these seams. They just kind of rip really easy, but this is not one of those bags. So this is, to me, more like a sturdy bag. Okay, so let me find the opening. It must be on this side. I think this is it. Oh, yeah. So I want to save that bag so I can... I want to make sure that it's going to come off without ripping and I think I think we're okay oh there we go so I want to I'm going to put this back in this bag so we saved that I still need to do a kit up with my my uh my Anna that I ordered all the drills from and the canvas from so let's, here's that toolkit. We'll look at that in just a second. 
Um, oh, so I like how this is actually folded. I mean, rolled up with the image facing out. Usually, you, usually it's the image facing in. Look how pretty this is. I loved how colorful this one is with all these yellows. And let me move all this to the side. I'm in my living room, so if someone comes up to the door, they can hear everything I'm saying. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to do this without moving the table too much. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty, look at that. So I'm gonna move the drills over. And just, so you have your little diamond painting instructions. There you go with that. And then the canvas, you have the legend here. And is this upside down? Oh no, the legend is flipped. Okay, so you have two legend. One is facing you, and then if you turn your canvas around while working on it, your other legend won't be upside down. So that's always nice. And then everything is legally licensed. Sunflower Sunset by Peggy Davis. And it has all the stats and what you're going to diamond paint. It has her logo on top and a saying on the bottom. And then all her social media over here. So, and you also could scan this. So, let's see. There's um, um, YouTube, TikTok. I don't know what that one is. Is that Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram? I'm not sure. But here's um, her website. And as you can see, this is scalloped and it's poked. It's really nice. And here's the back. And then with this, once you um, pull the plastic back and put it, you know, lie it flat again, it, that should come out. But this is really nice. I really like that. And then we'll look at the symbols as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at the toolkit. This bag is really nice. So let's see what it comes with what comes in here. So this is really pretty. You could reuse this. So you have your standard toolkit with the um, tray, some baggies you could kit up or kit down or use this how you like. Here's your pen with the um, one placer. And then over here you have like a, oh, another, it's another single placer, just curved like that. And then let's see how many so there you go and then you have your your little squishy there your comfort grip and then you have two multi-placers and one one looks to be I don't know is that a seven placer and a four placer and you have your branded washi tape that's really pretty and you have some wax, which I have never seen white wax before. You get three pads of wax and um, you gotta peel that back before you put your pen in there. And then it looks like you have another tray with, um, so you open it there to let it out. The only thing I wonder is if you're, when you're emptying it, um, because there's no lid, I wonder how it does with the empty without it falling over. And then you have your tweezers, which are branded and very pointy. So we have all of that. I really like this white wax. So we're just going to move that over here. And then I like this because you could use this container for extra things. Like you could put your... um. If you have extra drills, you could put that in here, like your your ABs, your Aurora Borealis drills, if you save those, or yeah, you could do all kinds of, make it a trash drill. So here is your sticker sheet, and you have Francesca's Studio Works, and then you have the name of the painting and so forth. 
and you have all these are individual right here which I really like so you have one through eight which is one through eight oops sorry about that and so that's great and then you have your symbols just trying to see if any if there's like anything that will be confusing I think for me these two might be even though that has like a little paw it's like a dog paw and then you have some more over here. So I'm not seeing too, too many arrows. Is that the only arrow right there? Oh, here's another one. So those, um, I don't like seeing two arrows on there, but at least they're different colors and I'm sure I'll just have to keep an eye on that when I flip the legend around. But other than that, it looks really nice. So this one has 52 colors. And look at all those ABs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ABs. This one actually came with a bling pack as well. And I hope to get that um, before I start working on this. I'm, I plan to purchase that to go with this. I just couldn't afford to get it with the painting this time around. But here are the drills. Look at that beautiful color palette. We have um, them in these sealed bags. So I wonder, the ABs are all the beginning, so let's see if we could get those pulled out without ruining the rest of the packaging. I apologize for the crinkles. I know some don't like that. I was hearing people's car doors and they sound so close. Okay, so let's see if I can just kind of pull the ABs out. Well, I think. Oh, it's going to keep going. So let's just see from here. So here's some pretty ABs. those as well some right there look at those beautiful yellows so AB stand for Aurora Borealis they have the extra shimmery on them can you see that how pretty is that okay let me put my glasses back on so I could see if I could kind of get this I'll put all this back in off camera so you don't have to hear all the the wrinkles, the wrinkles, the crinkles. <laughs> okay, so let's just move that over there. Okay, so let's see where some of these ABs are. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have the, all the numbers. So seven is this right here. And it's you see some right here. Let me kind of pull this up so you can see the drill filled on this. So here are the sevens. Of course, I gotta take my glasses off because I can't see close up. So this is where the sevens are going to be. And here's the drill field. It's all very clear and there's, um, I like it because it has like where you place the circles, but it doesn't have like the dark, um, outline look at there's some fours that's going to be an ab as well so we have seven and fours and some threes so ab's are going to be here on this flower it's going to be on this flower on this flower it's going to be ab's through here all these little dots the circles it looks like most of those are going to be ABs. How pretty. And there's a close up of that part of the drill field. Let's see if we can find some more numbers. Here's some eights right here. So that's going to be ABs. We've got seven, fours. And let's see. 
So it looks like it's going to be like all these like greens, yellows, just the different shades of greens that are going to be the ABs. Here's some, some sixes right here. So here's, these are gonna be ABs. And then here's some ones, those are gonna be ABs. It's gonna be very pretty. So yeah, I'll have to get the bling pack so I could bling it out even a little bit more. So that is what I have for you today. I have my first out of four um, Francesca Studio Works diamond painting. So hopefully I'll have some more sprinkled out through, th through the month and you can see what else I got. So I'm really excited. Um, oh, and I also wanted to share the, I like that the glue doesn't come like very far off the canvas, like right here, I don't even see any glue. There's a little bit on the bottom, like very, let's see if I could, sometimes if the light will light hits it, you can kind of see. Let's see, see that like right there where it ends. It's just very little and I don't even see any on this side right here. So I like that because I don't always put washi tape on there. And so sometimes, you know, you get kind of like the fuzzies from your sweater or something. But yeah, that is it. I will um, share the others soon. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you made it all the way to the end, why don't we put a tree or a sunflower or a leaf emoji so again, thank you so much for watching. Um, remember to live a life filled with color. Cut so much prettier that way. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.